In this video, we're setting up profiles. Now, profiles are a new optional feature in OpenCart from version 1.5.6 onwards. And basically, profiles allow you to create recurring payments for your customers. For example, if you're setting up a membership club or if you're planning to sell your products by subscription or even for installment payments on your products. So to set up our profiles, we go to catalog profiles then on the right hand side we come over and we click insert so what i'm going to be doing here is i'm going to be creating my first of two payment profiles that i will be assigning to a product in order to give my customer a choice of a payment method so to begin here i'm just going to call this profile profile one and then i'm going to give it a sort order of one then I'm going to drop down here on the status and enable it. Then I'm going to give it a price of one euro. Then my next field here is duration. Now duration, if we leave this at zero, will mean that the, the one euro will continue indefinitely until such time as either I or my customer cancels the profile. So we're just going to leave this at zero at the moment. Then the next field is the cycle. Now the cycle works hand in hand with the field underneath that, which is the frequency field. I'm leaving my cycle at one, and then I'm going to come down here and select my frequency, and I'm going to just select month. So what I'm saying, here basically is every one month the recurring payment of one euro will continue until either myself or my customer cancel the payment so then we're just going to come over here to the right hand side and click save now I'm going to insert another profile by clicking insert and I'm going to call this profile 2 and I'm going to give it a sort order of 2 and I'm going to come down to the status and enable it. Now I'm going to give this a price of 12 and again I'm going to leave a duration of 0. Now I'm going to leave the cycle here as 1 and I'm going to give this a frequency of year. So what I'm saying here now is every one year my customer is going to pay me 12 euros. So this is the second option whereby my customer pays pays me the full year for my product in one go every year and my first option was my customer pays me one euro every month so now I'm going to enable a trial status here by dropping down here and enable and I'm going to give the customer a trial price of one euro and I'm going to have this set as a trial duration of one and I'm going to set the trial cycle to one as well then I'm going to give the trial frequency of one month so basically what i'm saying here in the trial is my customer is going to pay me one payment of one euro for one month so this payment here is not recording but afterwards my customer is going to pay me 12 euro for one year recording until the payment is stopped so next we just go over here to the right hand side and click save next we have to set up a product for those payment profiles so we just go to catalog products come over to the right hand side here and click insert now we just give this product name here test product one and if this was a genuine product, you will go ahead and fill in your meta tag description, keywords, etc. I'm just going to put in a model number. It's something that we need to put in. I'm just going to put in P1 and our price. Now our price is important here because price is the amount that's going to be our initial payment for our customer. So we're going to put in one euro here. So we just scroll down a little bit. Now, unless you're limiting your subscription, you can just leave the quantity here at one, the minimum amount at one on the subtract stock here, just click no. Now, if it's a physical product, you will have to leave it ticked here to yes, because it'll be requiring shipping, and no if it's a digital product, such as uh, an e-sign or something like that. Now, the keyword here again has to be unique. So again, whatever you want to put in here, I usually put in the product title in here, as you don't usually have two of the same product titles so then we just go back up here and go to the links now we need to just assign it to a category so i'm just going to put it in the t-shirt category here for the moment and that's the minimum amount of data i need to enter just to create the product for the moment so i'm just going to enter my profiles tab here and i'm going to add profiles that are available for this product by clicking add profiles 
So first thing we do is we can drop down here and select the profiles we want to be available for this product. So we have profile one. And again, here when we set up customer groups, we can drop this down and make this available to the various customer groups. So I'm just going to leave it at retail at the moment. Now I'm going to add another profile and I'm going to add the profile two and leave it at retail. Then I'm going to come over here on the right hand side and click save. So now we get the success message here that we have modified the product. So we can just go to our storefront and have a look at that. And we know it's under our t-shirt category here. So we go into t-shirt category. And down here we have test product one. I've just put in a little red image here just so it stands out. So we click into the test product one. Now payment profiles is required when you've added a profile to a product. So you can see that by the red asterisks here. So the price we have up here is one and our customer has to drop down here and select either profile one or two. Now our customer isn't going to know what profile one or two is unless we're descriptive when we're naming these. Name them something different than profile one or profile two like payment options or something like that but we can always add some text into the product description that would inform our customers what the payment profiles are so if our customer selects here on profile one the description of what profile one is basically comes up down here underneath the profile so as we can see the required amount to pay is one euro every month until cancelled so that's our subscription there for profile one and if we drop it down again and just select profile two we can see here that it is one every month for one payment then 12 euro every year until cancelled so next to our customer just adds cart then they go to the shopping cart and they can see here in the shopping cart that it's a recurring item so then they come along and just check out as normal and just a point to note here that the paypal express checkout is the option that's presented here for the recurring payments the check money order or bank transfer options aren't available here at the moment in this version of OpenCart. Now one more thing we've got to do here is in our PayPal Express checkout payments, we got to enable the settings so our customer can cancel the profile. If we don't do this, basically our customer will be probably emailing us if they want to cancel the profile and it's something we've got to go in and do manually. If not, they may just be getting onto PayPal to cancel the profile profile and you know it just makes it a lot easier to go in there and have it set up that they can automatically cancel the profile themselves so to do this we just go into extensions payments come down here to our paypal express checkout over on the right hand side click edit we go to the general tab and down the very bottom here we see we have allow customers to cancel profiles so we drop this down and click this enabled then we come over here to the right hand side and click save we get the success message here that we've modified paypal express checkout account details now we go back to the dashboard you can see here that we have an order and this is the order that i've placed using the profiles so we can click view and apart from the usual uh, things we need to do like generate an invoice and add reward points if we had them assigned we can look at the payment details so here on the payment details we can see the name address of our customer and the payment method i'll just scroll down so as you can see here we've received the one euro and after one month with this profile our customers payment method will be debited with 12 euro to pay us for the annual subscription and this will continue until such time as it's cancelled from here we can refund or we can view the actual sale so we're going to view the sale and we can see that it was a test product one with the product number the quantity and the amount etc here so we can just scroll down look at all the other details there so we just go back here now again on our back arrow and have a look at the history. On the history tab here, just after confirming that we've received payment, drop down and click shipped as normal. Tick here if you want to notify the customer. Add notes if you need to hear for your customer and then click add history.